Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Military Force and today we're going to be building the RG31 Niala. Now this is a South African MRAP APC. This is used by US Army, US Marine Corps and the US Special Operations Command so you can use it for any of those. It is a mine resistant ambush protected uh, vehicle and it also is an armored personnel carrier so it can transport troops inside of it. And uh, this is manufactured by Land Systems OMC in South Africa. So this is a South African MRAP. And there is a similar South African MRAP called the RG33. Now this is uh, basically like a heavier version between this one. This is going to be a light version while this one's heavier. Although there is like two versions of the RG33. This one's the longer version with like an extra axle on the back. And yeah, I just been like uh, redoing uh, these two M wraps. Uh, this one, the original one, this is what it looks like. Um, I wasn't exactly like quite sure if this actually represented the Nyala. If you just saw it without a sign telling you what it is, if you could tell what it is, because you know the main problem with this was the glass windows, and there was like no divider in the middle. Well, this one, the window shape is a lot more accurate. And even these side windows, they are bigger as well. So I feel like the new one, it looks a lot more like the real life thing, which I wanted to do. I don't want to make something that you have to have a sign to tell what it is. The Nyala itself, we have a V-shaped hole. That's just how they uh, make it. So it's like a little uh, indent in here and also like underneath here. Um, we also do have some armaments like an M2 Browning machine gun at the top. Or you could fit it with this Crow's remote control gun that we also did a Crow's tutorial uh, re quite recently on the MATV for Oshkosh. Uh, so yeah, you can have uh, either version. So after I filmed the tutorial, I decided to change uh, this little thing. So the middle part is just back to back stairs. So uh, the final one will look different from the one that I originally filmed. But yeah, let's go ahead with this tutorial. So first off, let's grab some blocks. We'll take out a polished blackstone brick slab and wall birch button, smooth sandstone block, uh, sandstone stairs, smooth sandstone stairs, um, polished blackstone slab, a birch trap door, um, and also a sandstone slab. So first off, we'll make the first pair of wheels. So we're gonna make um, polished blackstone brick block, slab on top, and wall behind it. Then we'll add in two sandstone slabs here. In the middle, we'll add in two um, sand, smooth sandstone uh, blocks like that. And then smooth sandstone stairs. Now they're going to be facing towards each other upside down. Sorry if my voice is a little bit weird. <laughs> we'll just make the other wheel because I just woke up and I'm just filming the tutorial. And then we'll add in birch buttons on the sides of the wheels like that. And then we'll add in a pair of birch fence gates in between. Put them both up. And then a birch trap door, and then two polished blackstone slabs, another birch trap door, and then two blocks wide sandstone slab, and then we're going to make the wheels in the back the same way that we did in the front. The walls at the back of that, and also fence gates at the bottom, open them up like that. Also add in birch buttons to the sides of the wheels. Then we'll add in sandstone a wall, it's going to be a 2x2 two two here. And then over here, it's going to be two blocks wide and then a smooth sandstone stairs. That's going to be uh, upside down, back to back. Because we've got that V-shaped hole uh, that they're famous for, these M-wraps. I'm going to add in a birch fence gate here. And then a sandstone slab here. Uh, another sandstone wall here. A birch fence gate here. Then we'll add in a smooth sandstone behind it. And then another birch fence gate right there. Then in the back, we'll add in these um, sandstone stairs. going to be upside down, facing each other. With cut sandstone, I think it is, yeah. Cut sandstone slabs on either side of that, like that. Then we'll add in acacia fence gates on the edges, open them both up. Two blocks wide, birch fence gates, open the one on the right up like that. And then on top, we'll add in uh, cut sandstone two blocks wide. Move sandstone on the edges of that. And then sandstone walls on the edges. And then upside down smooth sandstone stairs just facing upside down towards each other. That. 
Then we'll add in a birch button here and then a blackstone button here. And in front, we'll add in two blocks wide of black concrete. And then we're going to make it four blocks long. So one, two, three, and four. Then um, right over here, we'll add in this iron bar. And that's going to be, I believe, five blocks tall. Yeah, five blocks tall right here. So one, two, three, four, five. While the other side's going to be two blocks tall of birch fence like that. Then we're going to add in... Um, on the roof part, uh, birch trap doors, and that's going to be six blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Other side, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that. Then over here, we'll add in a smooth sandstone uh, block. Make a, I think we'll just make an L shape like this, just two blocks wide L shape. Like that, and then in. Um, the side's going to be a sandstone wall here, then a polished blackstone brick wall, and then a sandstone wall here. Then in the middle, it's going to be a black concrete, two blocks wide. And we're going to add in those walls on the other side as well, because there's the same. And then in the middle, a two by two of smooth sandstone blocks, and then uh, birch uh, planks, uh, slabs, two blocks wide in the middle. And then two blocks wide birch uh, stairs like that on both sides. Then in the front here, we'll add in a cut sandstone slab here at the top. And then smooth sandstone slab at the bottom like that. Then we'll add in two blocks wide of this birch sign like this. And we'll also add in the headlights, which are going to be a glow item frame with an orange bed. And we want the orange bed so it's horizontally with the orange on the outside. Just like that. Then we'll add in um, these back-to-back -back trap doors, the birch trap doors here for the middle of the windshield divider. And then next we'll add in smooth sandstone stairs here, smooth sandstone slab diagonally towards the front, and then a cut sandstone block, as well as a birch fence gate here. Open that up, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So smooth sandstone stairs, smooth sandstone slab, and a cut sandstone block. And then a um, birch fence gate at the bottom, and we'll open that up. We'll also add in the side view mirror, so that's going to be lining up with that, um, I guess, the sandstone wall, and we'll add that wither skull and skull like that. We'll do the other side the same thing, just like so. All right, next up on the roof here, we'll add in another birch trap door here, and then in the back, we'll add in, uh, it looks to be a two by two, just like that. And then next we're going to add in three more smooth sandstone. So one, two, three. Smooth sandstone inside here. You know, two blocks wide. And then a birch trap door. Close that up. And then birch trap door on either side of this wheel like that. Then we'll add in a birch button right there. A birch trap door here. Open that up. Back to back trap doors here. And then another birch trap door here. And we'll go to the other side. This side's a little bit different because it has some panels here, so some compartments. So we're going to add in cut sandstone block. It'll be three blocks long like that. And the inside, you can fill that in with smooth sandstone. And then we'll add in another spare, a spare tire. So that's going to be a um, polished blackstone brick block, slab underneath, and a wall to the side, birch button in the middle. And also another two birch buttons spaced apart. And then a birch trap door, and open that up on sides and back to back here in the middle. So we got that window divider. Then we'll add in birch trap doors on either side of the wheel, um, just like that. All right, so this is where we're going to split off the tutorial, whether you want to make it with the regular uh, M2 Browning machine gun, or if you want to add in the Crow's automated or remote control gun turrets. All right, so first we're going to make it with the regular gun turn. So we'll take out a uh, sandstone stairs. We're going to add it one here, upside down here. Two blocks wide, sandstone walls. And upside down, smooth sandstone stairs like that. Chain here in the front. And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make that version. Now to make the other one with um, the automated gun turn, um, we'll add in uh, sandstone stairs. So they're going to be, well, we'll delete that. Uh, trap door here. Instead, move the trap door on this side. 
So we'll add in sandstone stairs facing outwards, back to back, and then another stairs front facing so it's cornered. And then on top, we can add in a cut sandstone a slab here on top of the stairs, a dark oak trap, I mean, fence gate there, and then two blocks wide of sandstone uh, walls like that. And then on the side, we can add in this birch sign with an end rod sticking out for the gun, just like that. And then we'll cover up the rest of this with birch shut doors. All right, so a last minute change I wanted to do is change these stairs so that they're actually facing back to back. I think that is you know, a little bit better. There's that little bump there. I wanted to make like the things that, you know, to grapple on, but I don't think this part should be it. Should be more down here. So uh, we'll just make this into sort of like a V shape like that. So that is gonna be the new front design and yeah, that's actually pretty much it on how to make uh, the RG31 Nyala. Now the funny thing about this one is that I was realizing I'm building it on the exact anniversary day. Uh, you know, the original time I uploaded the video was like March 11, so um, I'm filming this March 10, but I'm gonna upload it tomorrow, so it's gonna be on the exact anniversary day. I wasn't even planning on that, but it just turned out that way, so that is pretty cool. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, remember to hit that like button down below. Check out our Minecraft server or Discord. And if you had ready, please subscribe if you want to be notified of future videos like this. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.